Okay, so in my last video, I explained the process that I go through to, for testing the 18650 batteries. Uh, and in this video, I'll explain the statistics that I've accumulated over the past year. So here you see that I have tested 2,921 cells at the 1 amp uh, rate. Now I've tested far more than that because any cell that uh, resulted in a rating of less than 1,500 milliamp, I simply set aside. Um, anything less than 1,000, I, I discard. So I've tested far more than uh, 3,000 at this point. If I go up here, these are the cells that have now been tested uh, at 1 amp and then a second test at 2 amp. So I've now tested 2,539 cells. So now I'm going to explain uh, these columns. So first one obviously it's the number that I've assigned to the cell. This is the color of the cell. This is the manufacturer, the model number, the rated milliamp hour, maximum current draw uh, for that cell. So normally, more often than not, it's simply two times the milliamp hour rating, but some cells have uh, different ratings than that. Next uh, column is the uh, voltage of the cell that was at when it was harvested from the pack. So you can see some they're color coded, so these are considered uh, low voltage, uh, medium voltage, and good voltage. Um, this is the date that I did the first charge. So at first here, um, I was charging uh, using an IMAX B6, um, and I didn't have a, a method to discharge it because I didn't like the way the IMAX was discharging. Uh, so uh, two months went by before I uh, received my uh, <coughs> one cell tester. It's the tester that I now use at 2 amps. Um, the resistor that came with it uh, would result in a 1 amp uh, draw. <coughs> so this is the voltage uh, that the cell was at after sitting for uh, nearly 2 months. So you can see here, even after 2 months, the cell was over, uh, still overcharged. So that's why uh, I don't use the IMAX charger anymore, because it was overcharging the cells. So this is, a, this is a state of charge, so this is a formula that I found in a forum. So it uh, gives you the state of charge of the cell based on the voltage uh, at rest. So you can see here, it's, uh, this one is, uh, calculates it at 100.8% uh, state of charge. And this is the voltage drop from April to June. So there's basically, uh, actually the voltage drop per month. So it's basically uh, no voltage drop for these cells. If you go down, you'll see some of these cells. Um, they were at 4.10 uh, on the 20th of June, so that's 0 .04, uh, probably a little over 0 .04 um, volts of uh, drop over per month. So that's too too much. That would have, even if it would have tested good, I wouldn't have um, used this in my uh, Nissan Leaf pack. Uh, so obviously, this is the amp hour uh, rating that I've received from. Uh, the tester. This is the percent uh, of rated, so uh, the, obviously this one is 2600 milliamps, so it's it's actually a little 101 percent of rated capacity, and you see that these numbers vary based on the, the result here. So this is the date that it was charged for a second time, and then the, the date that it was tested for a second time. So I didn't bother calculating the voltage loss at this point because this was already done previously. Um, and then this is the uh, the amp hour rating when I tested at two amp hour at, at a two amp uh, current draw. And this gives you the delta, so the drop, the difference between uh, the two amp rate and the one amp rate. So you can see here it's usually around uh, 300 milliamp, depending on the the sale. Some of them are much higher. So this cell, even though it tested uh, good at one amp, um, when I tested it again at two amp it's below my threshold so I and anything below uh, a little less than 2 amp uh, I don't use in my um, beef pack. Okay so if I uh, do a sort here on uh, the voltage uh, or the original voltage when they were taken out of the cell uh, smallest to largest you'll see that the uh, the result here is that um, any cell that was at 0 volt uh, even though I was able to uh, eventually charge them um, they had uh, very little to no capacity in them um, but you can see that quickly uh, I got a cell here at, at, that was at 0 0.73 volts yet it, it still had a decent milliamp hour rating. If 
if I go up here you'll see um, some cells that were at one amp at uh, one volt uh, tested out uh, actually pretty good so this one this cell here uh, even though it was uh, very low voltage uh, resulted in a 2600 milliamp hour rating which is 104 uh, percent rated and even tested at two amps uh, it, uh, it came out to be a very good cell so you can't uh, rely on the voltage of the cell um, to decide if the cell is good or bad I've seen videos where people say anything under uh, 2 volts I discard anything below 2.5 and I think I see even one that said uh, anything below 3 he doesn't uh, risk t testing well they're probably throwing out a lot of very good cells because you can see here a lot of these um, 1.4 105 percent of rated capacity this is these are all very good cells so anybody that's uh, wanting to discard these cells um, they wouldn't wouldn't be a good idea so eventually I stopped keeping track of the voltages because uh, I didn't think it was a, a valuable information um, it, if the cells are zero then yes I discard it's, it's not worth it testing them but anything below above um, point 0.7 volts I give it a, a whirl and uh, a lot of times I ended up uh, seeing that they're good so here you'll see that at this point uh, I was using the Opus charger to do the test at uh, one amp. So ins instead of only testing one uh, battery at a time, I was able to test four. So imagine uh, with my previous tester, I could only test one at a time, and a good cell um, at a one amp current draw would take two and a half hours to test. Uh, so I couldn't test much more than about six a day. So this was going to be a very slow process. Now that I have the uh, Opus charger, uh, I can do a lot more than that uh, per day. Uh, so you can see here, um, uh, the first charge uh, is the same date as the first test because the, uh, I put the batteries in the Opus charger, uh, it charges it up, tests it and gives me the result. So I don't uh, calculate the voltage loss at this point. Once, so once I have the results, um, I, they're, the, the second charge date is obviously the same as the first test date. and then. Uh, I leave, let the batteries sit for roughly a month <coughs> and I retest uh, a month later uh, and this is the result at a 2 amp uh, discharge rate. On this page I have uh, calculated the number of cells that uh, are testing greater than 2.25 at 1 amp um, so now I, I've got uh, over 2,000 of those cells so it's 76% of the batteries that have tested of course, you got to remember that a lot of cells uh, I just simply discard, and they're not being taken account into this calculation. Um, and now, when they got retested at two amps, uh, that goes down to 64% of my batteries are good. And now, remember that these are good um, at two amp discharge rate, and to me, good is 1.98 uh, or, or higher than 1.98. Um, this is a listing by manufacturer, so it gives me the uh, percent of good uh, for Samsung. LG Sanyo. So you can see right now the uh, Samsung is by far the uh, the best manufacturer and uh, that I've uh, I've had. Um, now I used to, used to list the batteries that were dead on arrival, meaning that they were zero volts, but uh, I stopped doing that because these numbers are, are not uh, very accurate. Um, so here again, this is the numbers uh, for testing at two amp, and uh, again my Samsungs are the highest percentage of good cells. So these are my total batteries, total good batteries. So I've got currently 1,464 good batteries. Uh, the average amp hour of these batteries are 2.2. Uh, now remember, these uh, this is at a 2 amp rate. Uh, my cell with the highest amp hour is 2.9, and that's for sure it's going to be it's a Panasonic cell. So I've got a total of 3,241 amp hour, which equates to 12 kilo kilowatts, and that's equivalent roughly to a 1000 amp hour 12 volt battery. So my fair batteries, I've got uh, 483. Average amp hour is 1.8. Total amp, amp hour is 1000. So that's just uh, some information for the cell. So if I add them all together here, I've got uh, enough batteries. I've got 2000 batteries and I've got almost 16 kilowatt hours total since I started. So this is the uh, how many cells that I've saved now that are good, are fair, and that's over a one-year period. So this is rated by uh, by manufacturer. So 
Panasonic, unfortunately, I don't have too many cells, and a lot of these are older cells, which is why they, they're not testing very good. Uh, they were rated, this one rated, rated at uh, 2,250 uh, milliamp hour. Well, obviously, it's not going to be uh, giving me a very good high, high amp, milliamp hour rating. LG, I've got uh, quite a few uh, of good cells, but by far the, the ones that I have the most are Samsung. So here, for example, uh, this type of cell, I've got 518 of this model, and so that's 89% good. 188 of this cell, 26Ds, 97% good. Sony, I've got, uh, I don't have too many good cells, and Sanyo is by far the worst manufacturer from my results. Now, another thing to, to, note, to make note of uh, is that some of these cells were rated at 2800. This one, this one, yeah, but if we put a note here, these are rated 2800 but charged to 4.3 volts. Now I've got a, a feeling here that um, some of these manufacturers uh, were having a hard time producing uh, higher capacity cells, so they simply uh, stated that these their cells could be charged at a higher voltage, uh, and by charging them at a higher voltage, it uh, deteriorated the cells quicker. That's why, uh, even though, like, for example, this, this olive colored cell from LG uh, was rated at 2800 yet none of them tested good they were all uh, probably all very deteriorated because they were being overcharged 4.3 same thing with this uh, Samsung uh, the blue Samsung's um, they're actually supposed to be charged to 4.3 volts but I think by doing so you de deteriorate the cells and uh, that's why I have so few that are uh, good same again for the Sanyos here so I hope you find this information of value. Um, it's a lot of uh, statistics that I've accumulated over the, uh, the year. I'll continue adding to uh, my spreadsheets. And um, if anybody is interested uh, in getting this information, just uh, ping me, and I'll, I'll gladly send that to you uh, as a screenshot or whatever you want. All right, so have a good day.